do not let anyone tell you how to live it. Do not let anyone validate your purpose. Do not let anyone validate your destiny. Someone told you a long time ago that you wasn't worthy. Someone looked you in the eye and said you wasn't going to make it. I say to you right now that you will make it. I say to you right now that you must make it. I say to you right now that you must tell excuses, fear, and doubt that it has no place in your place of business. For this is your life that you are fighting for. This is your life that you are living for. And make no mistake, no one is gonna do you better than you. Don't wait for something to happen, you make it happen. You make it happen for a reason. And take full responsibility and control of this thing we call life. Excellence. Do you really believe that it's something that happens overnight? It can't be given to you. No one is going to hand it to you. You have to sleep. You have to breathe. You have to eat it every single day of your life. Until you achieve that greatness. When we talk about excellence, we are talking about an obsession to outwork and outperform everybody in the room. What is your current standard on life, on excellence, on how you pursue things, how you operate? Basically, when you show up, do you show up in an excellent way? Do you show up with an average way? Or do you show up in a mediocre, half-prepared, half thought out way. Listen to me very carefully. Excellence is about standing. And excellence is a requirement for your dream to come true. When others are sleeping, you need to be awake. Work on having an excellent driven mindset. Sure, there are gonna be some times and you're gonna just fall to the left and you may even fall to the right. You may even fall back. Learn from your mistakes, grow from your mistakes, and become unique, but never quit. Don't stop moving forward. Most people are totally okay with decent, but I ain't talking about most people. I'm talking about you. You wanna be a great one? You wanna be great? Let me break it down to you. Listen to me. Are you only okay with excellence? Until excellence is the only option, we got something to work on. Until excellence is the only thing you'll settle for, we got work to do, my friend. Before you can be excellent, you must first see what excellence looks like. I want you to make a conscious decision that from this day forward, excellence will be the description of everything you do. Like high performance and high achievement is just who you have become. You may feel that because you're failing so much, you're so good and you're so excellent at failing, but you're not realizing that you're growing from your failures. You're becoming more powerful. You are educating yourself. You are realizing that your excellence is being nourished. It's gonna get stronger. You are planting the seed. I'm letting you know right now that you are a possible individual. You are a possible being. You are a possible reality. And this is the time for you to recognize that. Don't stop now. Don't give up on now. Find the way that you are recognizing within yourself and build on it. Just like clay, you must shape it. You must mold it and you must make it a masterpiece. How many times have you said you couldn't do it? How many times did you say that you didn't have the strength? How many times? How many more times? When is enough gonna be enough? When are you gonna rise up and realize your true potential? When are you gonna commit to your real truth?
Because your words matter! Keep it moving! Be productive! Be powerful! And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business! This is it! Your journey can be seen millions and millions of miles away. And everything that you think, therefore you shall be. Be greater than your fears. Be stronger than your doubts. Because your mind is very powerful. Stop being sorry and start doing better. Better within you. Better than anyone has ever seen. Better than your mistakes. Better than your failures. Better than those that doubted you. Lift yourself up. Stop with the excuses. Stop doing things that you know that is not right. Doing all the things that will make you better depends on how you think, how you feel, what you do, how you proceed. There are going to be times that you're going to want to give up, but you don't have the permission to do so. You must carry on the good fight. What great is in you? If you don't believe of your greatness that you possess inside, what good is your greatness? If you don't stand on it, how can you hold on to who you really are inside? The water may be a little rough, the tide could be coming in. But you got to keep on fighting. You got to keep on swimming. This path that you are taking right now, this emptiness that you are feeling right now, it is only a temporary match, a temporary thing that is going on inside of you right now. It's only temporary, but it is necessary. It is necessary that you struggle. It is necessary that you feel alone. It is necessary that you have to continue to go forward. This is not the time to quit. This is not the time to give up. Even when you think you're weak, you have a way to be strong. Yes, darkness is upon you. But there will come a time the sun will shine. Dawn is coming. The sun is going to rise. And you will see the light within you. Nothing can stop this. Because that light has already been there. That light is embedded in you. That light exists in you. The time has come. For you to succeed, for you to stand tall, for you to understand that you got a mission, and your mission is not done yet. Every day it's not going to be a good day, but every day is a blessed day, because you are above the ground, you are walking tall. There is no time for sorrow because misery has no place in your life. The mind is a powerful weapon because no matter what's happening, your mind does matter. And if you put the wrong things inside of your mind, the best things won't come out. The best of you won't show up. Do you feel that all you know is sorrow? Why do you allow misery to handcuff you, to chain you down? Resurrect yourself from the pit of darkness because misery doesn't have the right to control your life when the rest of the world says no to you 
You say yes to yourself. You say yes, I believe. You say yes, I can do it. You say yes, nothing can stop me. There's no time to give up. This is the opportunity. Be greater than your fears. Be stronger than your doubts. Make your mind matter. Misery. It will continue to do all that is necessary to succeed. Misery is on a mission to take everything away from you. Because your mind is very powerful. Bring in the goodness. Moving with a purpose. Conditioning your mind is what this is about. Today is that day and when and if tomorrow comes for you be even more powerful be stronger than you've ever been rectify in yourself believe in yourself keep that faith in yourself don't let the outside interference stop your growth don't let those that doubted you and said that you did not have it hold you back. Don't let the losses keep you down. Because if you're down, how would you understand what it means to get up? What is good about being miserable? What is misery doing for you? What has misery done for you lately? Has it given you everything that you need? Has it made you a better person? Your mind, your abilities, your faith within yourself is all that you need. The steps that you take in your life it's a process within itself. It won't be easy. But you don't deserve easy. Easy is not something that you should be looking for. Embrace all of the challenges that are necessary. But you continue to fight forward. You continue to believe in yourself. How do we allow ourselves to elevate the game? To go higher than we've ever gone before? How do we escape from the misery? The joy is what we seek. The joy of living. The joy of pursuing. The joy of believing. Are you ready to succeed? Are you prepared to move forward? Make it count. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. They say, they say a, mind a mind is a terrible thing, a to, terrible waste. thing to waste. The mind is so powerful, it's so unique, it can do many things. And you are the one that is responsible for the thoughts that enter your mind. How do we, How do we as individuals, as people, get away from misery? Get away from misery? How do we allow ourselves to elevate the game to go higher than we've ever gone before gone before how do we escape from the misery because misery has no place in your life 
Misery is exactly what it is. Misery doesn't bring happiness. Misery is on a mission to take everything away from you. What is misery doing for you? What has misery done for you lately? Has it given you everything that you need? Has it made you a better person? Do you feel that all you know is sorrow? Why do you allow misery to handcuff you? To chain you down? The mind is a powerful weapon. It belongs to you. And everything that you think, therefore you shall be. Be greater than your fears. Be stronger than your doubts. Because your mind is very powerful. Bring in the goodness. Absorb the right energy. Moving with a purpose. Conditioning your mind is what this is about. Every day it's not going to be a good day. But every day is a blessed day. Because you are above the ground. You are walking tall. There is no time for sorrow. There is no time to give up. This is the opportunity. An opportunity of a lifetime. Of a lifetime. How dare you? How dare you complain? How dare you worry? How dare you give up? You don't have the right to give in. You don't have the right to make it all about you. Some of you that are listening to my voice, you have been through certain things in your life and you felt that there was nothing that could be done. You believed that you did not have the strength to carry on. You trusted more in your failures than your success stories. You believed everything that went wrong never had a right ending to it. You believed that you wasn't worthy. You thought that it was over. How dare you think so much about things that doesn't concern you? How dare you think so much that just because it didn't work out, you have nothing else left to give of yourself? So many people in this world are fighting many battles that are tough, that are not forgiving, that makes them feel less, that makes them feel hopelessness. But it, you are the one, the individual who feels so sorry and so less of yourself because certain things are not going the way you want them to go. So you want to give up. You want to say you're done. You're so sensitive about things and not realizing that sometimes things are going to push you down a little bit. Sometimes things are going to hurt you a little bit. Sometimes you're going to struggle a little bit. Sometimes everybody's not going to love you. Even though you're giving so much love to the world, the world ain't giving you enough love back. Why do you feel? That people owe you something. 
Ask yourself, what is it so much of yourself that you have yet to give? How much more of yourself have you given? Do you feel that you made enough sacrifices? Do you feel that you're so weak and you're so miserable that you have nothing else left of yourself to push yourself forward? You don't have the right to stop living because there are people in the world right now that want to live a little bit longer but they can't because they're fighting a disease that is killing them right now they can't do anything about this disease this disease is terminal they can't recover no matter how much they fight they can't come back from it although they're hoping for the best but the reality sets in and they know they have only so much time but you you are the one that's complaining so much you are the one that is worrying so much you are the most healthiest person around but yet you are so miserable you're so afraid of your mistakes you're so afraid of falling down you're so afraid of people talking about you but this person that you never met this person you never known in your life is fighting every day for their lives and you are complaining you are worrying you are stressing because your day is not going so great but this person this other individual these other people in the world their life is on the countdown but they're not down yet they're still hoping for the best they're still believing that maybe there's a chance and they haven't given up yet the heart of a champion what does it take to really truly be a champion well it takes more than excuses it takes more than just giving yourself a pass there are only so many champions in the world and true champions understand what dedication and hard work really is true champions understand if you're gonna be a lion you got to know what it means to go through the jungle you can't pretend or fake it just to make it to be a champion when everybody else is sleeping the champion is the one that wakes up the champion gets up before the sun comes up the champion is the one that never lets the sun catch them sleeping there will become a time when you have to realize that you got to put in the work and you got to understand that if you're going to do it you better do it with the right attitude because attitude is what's going to take to get you to the level that you need to be and beyond it champions don't just come overnight champions have to grow champions have to work champions have to dig champions have to believe champions don't have time to wait around for something to happen on its own. Being a champion takes work, grit, and understanding that if you're trying to be better than the opponent, you got to work a little bit harder than the person that you up against. You're not worthy to be a champion if you don't apply yourself to be one you're not worthy to hold on to a title if you don't have the integrity and the understanding and the grit and what you need to do to maintain what it means to be a champion you don't deserve to have it handed to you you may have to accept a few losses you're gonna have to sometime understand that you got to lose so that you can win it all a champion a worker a believer someone that knows what it means to push 
someone that understands that they got to do more than less. When you are in that position and competition shows up, be ready to fight. Be ready to fight. Be ready to fight for your life. Be ready to give it everything you got. Make your stand matter. Keep your eyes forward. Make sure you're feeling everything that you need to feel inside to finish what you start. Make sure everything that you believe in stays with you. Because what you are facing is not there to apologize to you. It's not there to say it's okay. You're not going to get anything given to you. You better show them that you are there to work. You are there to push. You are there to give it everything that is necessary so that you can understand what it truly means to be a champion. If you are what you say you are, then do what you gotta do. But saying and doing is two different things. Let your actions speak for themselves. Don't sleep on your success. Bad things have to happen in our lives, ladies and gentlemen. We have to go through certain things. And this is what's going to make us better. This is what's going to make us stronger. But you got to claim what it is that you are seeking in your life. Everybody is never going to be where they want to be in life because sometimes they focus too much on the bad things and not claiming the good times. Not claiming, hey, no matter what struggle I go through, I am going to make it. The beauty about the process is that you're learning something. You're learning about yourself. You're learning how to go through certain things. And you're learning how to build up. We are human beings, and human beings sometimes act on emotions. But you have to harness your emotions. You have to understand that you got to go through something to get to the level that you want in your life. Make this day count. Put all your energy, put all your power into what you do today. You got to keep moving forward. You got to keep fighting for it. You got to keep trusting in yourself. You got to keep pushing because you got unfinished business. If you do not hold on to the goodness within you, then all the bad things that are surrounding you right now will ultimately destroy your possibilities and taking yourself further in your life. Don't you realize that you got to have faith in yourself every single day of your life? Maybe you did get rejected. And that doesn't mean that you're out the game. It doesn't mean that it's over. You got to keep moving on. Take the steps. Maybe take a few steps back. Analyze the situation. And then keep pushing. Keep going. Stay hungry and believe. Just keep on grinding. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but keep on grinding. You're gonna have those bad days, but keep on grinding. You're gonna wanna quit, but keep on grinding. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important part of your life. It is a decision that you have to make within yourself. No one is responsible for that. The grinder, you, the individual, the person that you are inside will determine the outcome, whatever you're going to do in your life. So you must continue to grind harder. You must continue to find a way and make a way out of no way. Don't wait for a handout. Don't wait for someone to tell you to do it. Do it because you need to do it. Do it because it must be done. There are going to be all kinds of challenges that we all must face. You cannot live in this world without a challenge. You cannot live in this world without a struggle. Because with every struggle that you have been through, it will help you to be stronger. But you cannot give up. Don't be afraid of the hard work. Don't be afraid to grind a little bit harder. Don't be afraid to sweat a little bit. It's okay, man. 
This ain't the time to be sitting up there feeling sorry. This ain't the time to be saying you don't have what it takes. So if you get some setbacks, embrace them. Sure, every day is not going to be a good day for you. Every day is not going to always happen for you. But it's always something happening. But you got to make it happen for the right reasons. For every day of your life, you must continue to believe in yourself. For every day of your life, you must have enough faith and understanding that it's up to you to make that difference count. So continue to grind. Grind with everything you got. Be strong every day of your life. No matter what comes your way, keep grinding. And keep moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Do not let misery control the life that you have. Do not let anyone tell you how to live it. Do not let anyone validate your purpose. Do not let anyone validate your destiny. Someone told you a long time ago that you wasn't worthy. Someone looked you in the eye and said you wasn't gonna make it. I say to you right now that you will make it. I say to you right now that you must make it. I say to you right now that you must tell excuses, fear, and doubt that it has no place in your place of business. For this is your life that you are fighting for. This is your life that you are living for. And make no mistake, no one is gonna do you better than you. Don't wait for something to happen. You make it happen. You make it happen for a reason. And take full responsibility and control of this thing we call life. Excellence. Do you really believe that is something that happens overnight. It can't be given to you. No one is gonna hand it to you. You have to sleep, you have to breathe, you have to eat it every single day of your life until you achieve that greatness. When we talk about excellence, we are talking